Hello, it's Miss Chalice here. I hope you're all safe and well. And I'm going to go through Year 2's home learning for this week. Okay, I just want to remind you to find the home learning, you need to visit the school website. Then you click on the section Children, Class Pages, then you will see this. Click on Year 2 and you'll have all the weeks and in the weeks it will have the homework for you to look at. Be lots of resources and lots of ideas for help. Okay, so let's have a look at our overview. Before I explain the homework this week, I just want to remind you, you can email me, Mrs Chiswell and Mrs Gosling, any pictures of your work that you've been doing, any questions you have, and that is at year two, at perfectprimary.co.uk Okay, let's start off with English. So English this week, you're going to be writing a non-chronological report. A non-chronological report is a piece of non-fiction writing, so that's factual, okay? And it has lots of facts about a topic. These facts can be written in any order or non-chronological order. So first off, you need to plan your non-chronological report. You could choose to do this about an animal from the polar regions that you read about last week, or an animal from one of the habitats in science this week, or a plant that interests you. There is lots of information and resources in the weeks folder and some examples to help you too. But when we're planning, you must think about the animal or plant you're going to write about. Then you're going to draw a spider diagram on a sheet of paper. And I've got an example here for you. So my one is going to be about tigers and my subheadings I've chosen are appearance, habitat, behaviour, diet or food. You need to think about your subheadings. So your subheadings could be topic words. Or you might want to use questions, for example, what do they eat? How do they behave? Then you need to make notes. Remember, notes are not written in full sentences. When writing your report, remember to include a title, subheadings, an introduction to explain what your non-chronological report is about. Lots and lots of facts. And think about your layout. Okay, how are you going to set your non-chronological report out? Where are the pictures going to be? Okay, science. Science, we're going to be looking at habitats. What does habitat mean? Have a think. If you're not sure... Have a look at the clips to help you. I've got three different ones here for you. Then you're going to make a poster about habitats. So you can fold or divide a piece of paper into four or six sections. Then write a name of a habitat in each section. Now make a list or draw that label the different animals and plants that can be found there. So I'm going to show you an example of my work that I've been doing. Okay, so I've chosen my four habitats. I've got desert, rainforest, ocean and polar. And I've researched all the different animals and plants in those habitats. So I've only done two so far, but I'm going to carry on with my next two in a little bit. So when I was researching, I found out that cacti, scorpions, kangaroo rats, palm trees and tiger rattlesnakes are just some of the animals and plants in the desert. So you can see I've drawn them, coloured them in, and I've also labelled what they are. And then if I'm looking in a polar habitat, I found out there were snowy owls, reindeer and walruses that live there. So see if you can find any different animals and plants in your habitats. After you've done that, then get yourself a second sheet of paper and fold and divide that up for the same habitats. 
So I would choose my next piece of paper and fold it into four sections. Then write a short paragraph to explain the features of each habitat. Again, there are examples of habitats and there's other resources in the weeks folder to help you. Music. Going to listen to the habitat song that links to your science to help you with that. Sing along and make up some of your own actions. If you want to, you could even send a video of you singing and making up the actions to us on our email. We'd love to see them. Another song you're going to listen from the film Trolls, which I absolutely love. What makes you feel happy? And the song is Can't Stop the Feeling. We've attached some lyrics for you if you want to sing along. For geography, you're going to be learning about the continent South America. Where is it in the world? Got a little picture here for you to show you South America and you can see some of the countries that are in that continent. Again, we have a link for you to find out more information. In history, you're going to be learning about a man called Gandhi. Why is he a significant individual? And find out lots of information about him. Again, the link is there. For PE, remember Joe Weeks is doing his PE lesson Monday to Friday, 9am on his YouTube channel. If you can't catch him at 9am, he does save his videos on his profile so you can come back to them at a later time. But I hope you are keeping physically active at home and doing lots of workouts or playing some sport in the garden or in the local park. For reading, you're going to find out about the habitat of the ocean. There's a non-fiction sheet called Layers of the Ocean and you can challenge yourself with one star, two star or three star questions. So choose which star questions you would like to do. The fact sheets and questions are in the week's folders on the website. Also, you can listen to the story Lost and Found by Oliver Jeffers. Find out what happens when a boy finds a penguin, my favourite animal. And if you want to read along, you can use that link there. Also, don't forget to use Bug Club, where there's lots of spag games and reading games on there as well. Make sure you are reading for 20 minutes a day. It's very, very important. This week in maths, we'll be focusing on statistics. Statistics can also be referred to as data handling. And this means to gather, sort and record information and then present it in a way that is meaningful to others. After you've presented the data, you can then answer questions about the data. To find out more about data handling, we have a video here. Click on this link. For the first activity, if you go onto the school website and in the Year 2 folder, you'll see that we have uploaded a selection of resources about statistics. Have a look at them and answer the questions. If you're unable to print the tables and charts, then just write the answers on a piece of paper. For your second activity, we'd like you to make a graph practically. We've suggested using sweets as they're colourful, but you could also use something like Lego. I didn't have any squared paper, so I had to draw my graph on plain white paper. So first I did my x-axis along here and my y-axis. Remember to use a ruler. I've included my title. I'm looking at the colour of sweets. And I've got my colours along here. And then my numbers going up in ones there. I went through my cupboard and tried to find as many sweets as I could with lots of different colours here. And this is what I managed to find. Now I'm going to place my sweets on the graph. That's my graph complete and all of my sweets are gone. So have a look carefully at my graph. I've made sure all the colours match correctly and you may notice there are two colours that haven't got any sweets on. Which ones are those? That's right, blue 
and pink. I didn't have any blue or pink sweets. Then I created some questions about my graph. And I'm going to answer these questions with you now. So my first question says, what is the most popular colour? So which colour is the most popular? Which has the most sweets? What do you think it is? So if we look here, we've got one red sweet, three green, seven purple, zero blue, five yellow, zero pink, and then eight orange. So my answer would be orange. What is the least popular colour? Which colour has the least amount of sweets? And that would be blue, because we have zero, and pink, we have zero. So blue and pink. Next question, how many more purple sweets are there than green? So we have seven purple sweets, but only three green sweets. So what I would do is write three, and I'm going to count on till I get to seven. So four, five, six, seven, and that was one, two, three, four. Four more jumps. Three add four equals seven. So there's four more sweets. One, two, three, four. The next question, what colour has four sweets? Can you find the answer? That's actually a trick question. No colours have four sweets. So I would write none. What is the difference between blue and red? So I have zero blue sweets, so I'm going to write zero here, just to remember. And how many red sweets have I got? One. So what is the difference between zero and one? The answer would just be one. Then how many sweets are there all together? The word all together means total, so I'm going to add up all of my colours now. So I've got eight orange. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There are 24 sweets all together. So we would like to see if you could create something like this too. See if you can have a go at home. In art, you're going to look at drawing and sketching animals. Do you want to know how to draw different animals? We have a link here for you. and It has lots of examples of different animals being drawn. Then have a go at drawing an animal of your choice. It could be a pet you have at home, or it could be your favorite animal, or any animal of your choice. I've got some examples here for you of different drawings of animals. Remember in class, we looked at shading. When you push harder, when you're shading, it will come out darker. When you push lightly, the shading will be lighter. So think about the colours when you're shading your animal. In design technology, you're going to design your own packaging for fruit or vegetables. Again, we have a link to help you. So I suggest you have a, link, a little look at all your packaging in your house. You can reuse a box, turn it inside out and then design it. Or you could even make it out of paper. Try and make it bright and colourful and eye-catching. And again, there are examples in the week's folder. PSHE. You're going to think about what makes you feel happy. Can you think of three things that make you feel happy? Draw them onto a piece of paper. Or you could even create your own poster. And also, don't forget to keep doing one kind or helpful thing each day. 
And you could even play a fun game with your friends or family. You decide what game you'd like to play. So I'm going to end on a positive news story. So remember my last video, I spoke about Chester Zoo and the amazing penguins there. Well, this story is also about Chester Zoo. So I don't know if you heard, Iceland supermarket has made a generous move to help a struggling zoo. And that sadly was Chester Zoo. Chester Zoo announced it was facing huge debts as much as 24 million pounds as a result of the coronavirus. So debts mean means they have to owe money. So Iceland, the supermarket chain, adopted Chester Zoo's entire rookery of Humboldt penguins. A rookery is an area where penguins nest and raise their chicks. So as Iceland have adopted them, that has helped fund and help out Chester Zoo with their debt. So a nice happy news story there. I'm going to say bye now. I hope you've enjoyed this week's tasks and we look forward to seeing all of your amazing work. Keep sending them in. Stay safe everyone. Bye.